Hi, I'm Jordan Phelps and I'm coming to you from Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, this is where the GOP debate is going to be tonight, um, but before tonight's debate, I'm actually here at a town hall for Carly Fiorina, uh, one of the Republican presidential candidates and the uh, former Hewlett Packard CEO. Uh, Fiorina is actually not going to be on the main debate stage tonight at 9. Uh, she's been relegated back to the undercard debate um, at 6 p.m., which is actually where Fiorina started uh, in this Republican primary um, and fought her way up to the main debate stage. Uh, Fiorina has really broken out through her strong debate performances. Um, she came into this whole process with low expectations. No one really expected her to go anywhere. And then following a very strong performance in the first undercard debate, Fiorina saw a boost in the polls and was able to get on the main debate stage. Now, Fiorina's fortunes have changed a little bit at this point in the process. She has been moved back down to the undercard debate, um, but this could actually be another opportunity for Fiorina. Uh, we've seen her perform very well under these circumstances. She'll have more time to talk directly to the American people in that setting, um, fewer people on the debate stage with her. She'll actually just be debating Rick Santorum and Mike Huckabee. Um, there's someone who should be on that undercard debate stage who will be missing, and that's Kentucky Senator Rand Paul. Paul is not coming to the undercard debate in protest, actually, because he's been bumped down um, after being on the main debate stage the whole time through. Um, and he uh, is protesting it, saying that he has a strong national campaign. He should be allowed to be on the main debate stage. And in fact, even today, Rand Paul continues to fight to try to get onto the main debate stage. Uh, he's been doing uh, media interviews today, saying that a new Des Moines Register poll really shows that he's deserved, uh, he's earned the right to be on the main debate stage. Uh, now, there's no signs that Fox Business uh, is going to change their minds and let uh, Paul on at this late stage of, of, of things, but uh, he's still campaigning um, for that. Now, the real question is whether or not Rand Paul even has a flight booked to Charleston, uh, South Carolina. He was in New York this morning, uh, so we don't expect to see him here today. So his absence uh, is, of course, one storyline. Um, but the main story out of the undercard debate may be Carly Fiorina. Yet again, uh, we'll see if she's able to capitalize on this uh, on this uh, night to, you know, get another boost in the polls. Um, but of course, we are getting very close to voting. Uh, just a few weeks from the Iowa caucuses, February 1st, first time that people will actually start going to the polls. Uh, some voters I'm talking to here say uh, they're still undecided here in South Carolina, which is of course the third state uh, in the nominating process after Iowa and New Hampshire. Uh, for Fiorina, her strategy has really been uh, to focus on, she's focused on all the early states, of course, but she's really focused on New Hampshire, as have many candidates um, that are counting on, on a strong performance in that state to fuel their campaign to move onward. Now, Fiorina's campaign says her strategy going into the election is just to continue to exceed expectations as she has done this entire time. Uh, but the question is, at what point does she actually need to, you know, be one of the leading in the polls to, to keep going? And uh, once you get to South Carolina, once you get to South Carolina, you wonder, uh, for many of the candidates, when it's time to get out uh, for the good of the party. Now, we're about to start a town hall here for fear, and as you can see behind me. Uh, but before I toss to that, uh, which you should stay tuned for, let's go talk to uh, one voter here who's considering voting for Fiorina. She's not decided yet, um, but but she's considering it, um, and uh, and she's a voter here in South Carolina. Uh, so here uh, we are in, in South Carolina with an undecided voter. So uh, you're checking out Carly Fiorina. Tell me, uh, tell me what you're looking at. Well, um, I've seen Carly, um, you know, in the debates, obviously, but um, basically I'm a, trying to be an informed voter, and I just want to make sure, um, with this great opportunity of her being so close and so local, just to see her in person, and, um, you know, hear what she has to say on a more of an intimate um, basis rather than, you know, in a big form as the debate, because they never get enough time to really talk, right? So, um, but yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm looking for, um, just for her to flesh out some of her ideas. I really um, 
like her idea about the tax form, tax relief, um, and then the, the whole uh, getting it down to three pages would be awesome. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's way too cumbersome. Um, so, yeah, so I'm looking for that. Now, you're still undecided at this point, but is there anyone you know that, that you don't want, or uh, are, are there a couple top choices you've got? Uh, um, well, uh, first off, what I don't want is Donald Trump. Um, I think he is uh, he's about an inch deep and a mile wide. I don't really think that he has um, really thought through uh, any of the, his ideas, or um, he says you know, he'll do something on day one, but he really can't do that. Uh, unless he's going to be a dictator, and um, I don't think the American people want that. Um, so yeah, I definitely, um, I think he, I, I don't think anybody really thought he was going to be this far along, uh, this high in the polls um, as he is now, I think. So that really scares me, because um, I just don't think he would be good for the country at all. So, um, so I really, I love Ben Carson, I really do. Um, unfortunately, I don't think he has shot, but uh, he's having the breakfast tomorrow morning, so I'm going to be going to that uh, tomorrow just to hear what he has to say and maybe encourage him, um, but I do, I, I love his, uh, uh, his faith-based uh, uh, example um, of what leader should be. Um, so, um, I, I like Ted Cruz, um, I like Marco Rubio, I, I, I mean, I like him. Like a, I mean, we, are, we should be very blessed to have this many great people running, you know, on the Republican side. So, uh, just really, like I said, try, just really want to be an informed uh, voter before I cast my ballot. So, what might uh, kind of tip the scale for you? If Carly says something today, will that maybe make you a supporter, or do you want to watch the debates tonight? What's um, I'm definitely going to watch every debate that there is. Um, so, uh, we'll be going um, tonight because we just moved here, so I don't have any uh, <laughs> any cable or internet or anything. So, we'll be going to the movie theater to see the debate tonight. But um, I don't know. I'm just I'm really keeping my options open, really, uh, at this point. I think um, I would love to support uh, Carly, so we'll, we'll see. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much and, and enjoy the event. Thank you. And uh, now uh, Carly is about to arrive at the town hall, so uh, we're going to uh, bump you back to other coverage. Um, coming up is uh, Carly's event, and you'll be able to watch that live. We hope you'll stay tuned. Thanks, as always, for watching ABC News.